A warm welcome to one and all friends, myself, Dr. Rashmi Joshi Sabalkar, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, Shri RLT College of Science, Akola. Dear friends, today this is our 25th lecture uh, on semester 1st, Unit 4. And today's topic is Excretory System of Cockroach and uh, Life Cycle of Cockroach. Till now, we have studied the complete Till now, we have studied the complete uh, um, systems of uh, all the different systems of phylum Orthropoda. This is the last topic of our unit on phylum Orthropoda. So, let's see the topic here. See, uh, here is not any uh, different topic or different uh, note on excretory system of cockroach. I just want to know all of you that which are the excretory organs here and how uh, the uh, function of excretory system takes place. So, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, like, the, like other insects, malfigian tubules are the main excretory organs of cockroach. In addition, fat body, nephrocytes, cuticle and uh, uricose glands are also excretory in function. So friends, this is the complete digestive system diagram that we have studied in the uh, di digestive system of cockroach. And this is the highlighted structure where the malfigian tubules are present. These all fine thread-like structures are malfigian tubules. And these are the uh, organs of excretion in orthropoda or, on, or in cockroach. So, let's see what are malfigian tubules. Uh, malfigian tubule is, I want to show you in that first previous diagram that uh, at the junction of mid, high, mid gut and hind gut, at the junction of mid gut and hind gut, the bunch of thread like yellow uh, threads are present which are known as malfigian tubules. And these malfigian tubules are the organs of excretion in orthropoda. So let's see one by one. Now, this is the alimentary tract of a uh, cockroach. Uh, this, is the mid, uh, this is the junction of mid gut and hind gut. So this is the last opening that is anus and this is the malfigian tubule. So mid gut here the anus or hind gut rectum then this is junction of mid gut and hind gut okay where malfigian tubule is present. This is a single malfigian tubule which is highlighted here. This is hemolymph. Complete hemolymph surrounded by hemolymph here. Then proximal absorptive region of malfigian tubule. This is the posterior part of malfigian tubule which is proximal or absorptive region of malfigian tubule. This is distal secretory region of malfigian tubule. Secretion takes place or in this uh, posterior uh, anterior end of malfigian tubules um, where all the salts and water uh, from the hemolymph is absorbed here uh, uh, and which is pro processed and uh, which is absorbed and propelled into the um, hind gut portion and the waste is excreted. So, uh, at the junction of mid gut and hind gut, a large number of uh, usually 60 to 150 of thin long filamentous thread like yellow colored structures are found attached to which are called as malfigian tubules. The malfigian tubules arise in six groups and hang freely in the hemocyl without any external opening into it. These are ectodermal in origin. These malfigian tubules are ectodermal in origin like the nephridia of an elida. Each malfigian tubule, each malfigian tubule, uh, each malfigian tubule is formed on, of a single layer of glandular ciliated cells having a characteristic brush border formed, uh, formed of cilia. So here see the characteristic brush border of cilia which helps in excretion that means absorption and um, again it, uh, ap after absorption the waste material is poured into this um, gut region. Okay, so this is the diagram of, this is the histological structure, TS of malfigian tubule. So see here, this is the basement membrane, this is the longitudinal, these are the longitudinal muscles, means uh, outermost membrane, longitudinal muscles are present and in, in, in the middle membrane where the lumen is present, also the longitudinal muscles are present. Then these are glandular epithelial cells are present, this is nucleus, this is striated border, 
and this is lumen of gut. So these tubules excrete the nitrogenous waste from the hemolymph of the hemocyl and empty the excreted substance into the gut. These are also osmoregulatory in function. And physiology of excretion in short, we will see what is physiology of excretion in cockroaches. The physiology of Malpighian tubule has been widely studied in different insects and it appears that it functions essentially in the same way in all the insects. So this is all about the excretory system of uh, cockroaches. Sometimes in the examination, a short note of four for four marks is asked on this Malpighian tubules. So you should know what are Malpighian tubules. If the short note is asked, then you have to give this PS of Malpighian tubule, this previous diagram here, and this short note, these complete points of Malpighian tubules. Okay, so this is all about Malpighian tubules here. Now, the last topic of our uh, topic of our unit is life history of cockroaches. See the diagram beside here. The eggs of cockroach, like other insects, are called as an centrolecithal because the ooplasm is placed in the form of a thin film uh, outside a central mass of yolk. The embryonic development occurs in the uthika, which takes near 5 to 13 weeks. See, this is the uthika. I have told you uh, the uthika. What is uthika in the female reproductive system? So, the complete development of the eggs takes place in Uthika for about 5 to 13 weeks are required for complete development, for complete uh, hatching or the nymph development. So, the nymph, see here the Uthika is breaked or the, the nymphs are hatched here from the Uthika and this process requires about 5 to 13 weeks. Okay, after the embryonic development is complete, the Uthika ruptures and the young ones hatch out. The young ones in, of cockroach resemble their parents in every respect ex, except that they are smaller in size and without wings. No wings are present and size is smaller as compared to the adult cockroaches. So that stage of development is called as um, nymphs. These are called as nymphs which undergo metamorphosis. After metamorphosis, they, the, that grows in the male and female adult cockroaches here. Again, copulation takes place. Again, Uthika. In Uthika, 5 to 13 weeks are required to develop itself. And after 5 to 13 weeks and complete development, the uh, nymphs or uh, mature uh, nymphs are uh, hatched out from the Uthika. And again, the metamorphosis takes place, development takes place, and that gets converted into the adult cockroaches. So, this is the simple and incomplete life cycle of uh, cockroach. That means it is hemimetabolous. The type of development in cockroaches is hemimetabolous insects. Uh, so this is all about the life cycle of uh, cockroaches. So friends, today I have explained you the uh, organs of excretion that is Malpighian tubules in uh, cockroaches or in orthropods and again the uh, life cycle of cockroach here, which, which is very simple. It is usually asked in uh, practical examination so that I have explained you in here in the theory uh, lecture. So go through that uh, uh, topic or uh, heading that what is life cycle of cockroach? How many stages are there? Is it incomplete uh, development or it is uh, complete development? So, these all questions and that diagram is usually asked for 10 marks in the practical examination. So, friends, we will stop here and thank you. Thank you very much.